Hey guys, this is Spark Plus Ultra here, and this is my new what if. Thank you guys for voting. I was thinking that the two characters that were getting a little high there, you know, Squiggly and her. So I did both of them just for you guys. And let's get down to this what if. What if Deku had Emperor McLean powers, a song that burns. And I hope you like this video and hope you subscribe. In a world where power superpowers that are called quirks are in a world called My Hero Academia. There are superheroes that protect the light and those in the dark are called supervillains that do any means to ruin it. And here are the two characters that we're going to discuss. This is the story of Sumi Jiro and her sister, Kyoko Jiro. And both Sumi and Jiro were born from their mother, M Mika Jiro. And her father, Kyotoko, was a loving father to both Sumi and Jiro. And their mom was encouraging to play some music. And both Sumi and Jiro have similar like that they play. They are both fans of playing music, both love to play the guitar, and both having the rock and vibe of loving rock and roll. But then the different comes to light. Sumi has a quirk that allows her to use the flames out of her hair, and whenever she gets somebody chanting her name, her flames and power grow making her stronger each time she gets cheered on. And Jiro's is earphone jack, which are like her mother's. Both have some different quirks. They both have their own sweet sides to them. And Sumi was in school with her sister, Jiro. We were always helping each other out with things that could be dealt with, like her math or studying a bit. Sumi has a hard time with studying a bit, similar to Jiro, so they help each other out with their shortcomings. Both got a guitar for their birthday as well. Both love to sing with each other, and nothing separates them from each other until the time that they become middle schoolers. Sumi was her usual self, being cheery and very punk-like, similar to Jiro, but Jiro was thinking of something, and Zumi then says, Uh, sis? What's the matter? You never think this hard. Usually, you'd be similar to me, and very punk-like, or somewhat stubborn. And then Jiro says, Zumi, have you think about your job? And Zumi then was shocked to hear that, and says, Where did that come from? And Jiro says this, I'm thinking of becoming a hero. And Zumi says, Hero? Hmm. Well, can you also be a rock star? And Jiro says, You can't be both. And Zumi says, Really? You're making it complicated for yourself. And Jiro then sighs and says, ah, You know your hero identity is a secret. And Zumi says, yes, but it also has a nickname by it as well. Even heroes' identities, Zumi, and also goes by what Jiro was saying. It doesn't make you change, it just makes you different. And Jiro was confused on what she meant. And Zumi says, ah, people have some off and bad days. Heck, even seniors. But that doesn't make them equal on certain situations. Heroes have a similar duty, making people happy. And Jiro says, yeah, I guess it was getting a little complicated with it. And Zumi says, hmm, but you are right. Choosing a career is very difficult, even if you can get really hard. But I think I can become both. And Jiro says, hey, where did this inspiration come from? And Sumi says, you. And flicking her head, and 
Jiro then feels her head. Uh, why you? And Sumi says, can't catch me. And Jiro then chases Sumi around. And becoming like then, they go home. And Sumi says, all right, sis, you better not be afraid. And don't be such a chicken. And Jiro says, shut up, in a sisterly way, and punching her in the shoulder. <laughs> and Jiro says, tells her parents about wanting to be a hero. And Sumi explains that she'll be both a musician and a hero, but also keeping an eye on, on her sister, and similar to Jiro as well. And both Jiro's mom and her were happy on that agreement, and father as well. Then Zumi says, all right, next day I'm going to get part time. And when she slept next day, Zumi was going to get part time at a music store. But when she gets to the music store, she then gets into a counter with a surprise attack from a villain and says, Hey there, kid! That's a nice quirk you got there! And Sumi says, Hmm? Uh, who are you? And the sludge villain says, Doesn't matter. Your body is mine! And Sumi then says, Back off. And then blue hair flames come around and says, Usually I don't use my quirk on very circumstances, but this is one of them. And her flames imbuing around from her hair and says, Most people don't know this, but my quirk is called Phantom Singer. And Sumi then whips out her guitar and looks at the slug villain. <sighs> Why don't you just go to sleep and putting a click on snooze? And Sludge Villain says, You pesky brat! I'll make you mine! And Sumi then strums her guitar and making a sound that was low note and making the Sludge Villain sleep. And Sumi says, You really need to stop unresting on top. And then we get more info of her darker side. <sighs> My sister is the popular one, not me. We sometimes separate, and I was considered to be unpopular, but I actually care more about my sis than the unpopularity, but I just want little attention, just once, or gain recognition, so I could benefit through it. And for I, glow green on thinking about that. And Sumi says, ah, man, this is just really getting old on how it is sometimes. And putting back her guitar on her side and says, ah, gotta get my part time. When she gets into the part time, she then was hearing some people having a hard time finding a person that could have them sing. Then Zumi says, uh, are you guys meaning a singer? And the man said, yeah, the one was out sick, so we are kind of desperate. And man then looks at her guitar and says, hmm, interesting guitar. And Zumi says, uh, thanks? And the man that looks at the guitar then looks at her and Sumi says, uh, are you okay? Do I have anything bad look on me? And then the man says, hmm. usually I don't ask for new people to step in, but this is an emergency. What's your name, kid? And Sumi then says, uh, Zumi Jiro. Good. I can choose your nickname now. We want for a nickname. Uh, Sumi then says, wait, right now? Uh, I guess Ember would be fine? And the man says, good, Ember, can you help me on this? And Sumi then says, 
Uh, sure. Question, are you a singer? And so he says, uh, I did take vocal lessons in my school to practice on my guitar skills. And the man says, good, now get in there. And Sumi then pats out some notes to help the men work with her singing and how to play. And then she sings at one of the best songs there is. You know, like her original song. And I'm not going to sing it because I'm not good at it. But Sumi made a lot of people almost excited for her singing. And Zumi then says, Ah, uh, there. I think it's done. The recording session was done. And the man says, Ah, uh, you're just perfect for this job. You're a perfect singer. And Zumi says, <laughs> Well, I was getting a part-time job to work on some. And the man says, Forget part-time. You're going to be a singer, pal. And Zumi then says, oh, this is surprising. And Zumi then gets a little lot popular. And then Jiro, and when she comes back to her house, Jiro says, Zumi, you got famous. I didn't expect you to get singing career that quickly. And Zumi then scratches her head and says, neither did I. And Jiro says, huh? How did you- And Zumi says, it's a long story. Jiro was amazed on how Zumi explained it, but she's also a little jealous of Zumi on what she accomplished. But Zumi rolled her eyes and says, please, I'm not that popular. And Jiro says, but you were amazing on how you did it. It was a first time try, and you did it well. And Sumi so says, Yeah, but that was all luck on how it began. But I can help out on making the costumes. But I think my rockstar gear would help out. Then Sumi so was also working on her singing, but also training with Jiro on the hero exam. And Sumi so then trained for three months with Jiro her sister, and they both were going to work on their skills. And then Zumi's singing career has a little catched up to her. But then she goes back to her little sister and trained with her. And then they go to UA and to do all the work and become heroes. And that's where I'm ending this video. I hope you like this video and hope you subscribe. See you next time. Plus Ultra.